Huge Charlotte Dobre update, Valkyrie says she wants to quit, and Shane Dawson comes out with a mystery box. All of that and a lot, lot more, but first, if you could please do us a big favor and tap that like button, we would really appreciate it. And with that out of the way, let's begin the Inform Overload Weekly Roundup. So first things first, we wanted to bring you all a huge update on Charlotte. If you remember, Charlotte was a major host on the channel, and she wanted to let her Potato Kingdom know about a brand new channel she's created called Just Charlotte. Guys, I am starting a second channel. Yes, thank you. The first video on the channel will be going live on Saturday, May 1st at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and she'll be doing a premiere for it so you guys can all chat with her in the live section as well. Plus, don't forget to comment that IO sent you. Now, without any further delay, let's move on to Valkyrie saying that she wants to quit after receiving online hate. Recently, Valkyrie shocked her YouTube audience when she dropped the bombshell that she's tossing around the idea of quitting social media and streaming to move into business. There's no doubt that she certainly has had an impressive rise just this past year alone. She quickly overshadowed Pokimane as the internet's most watched female creator, plus she's a co-ownership spot of the 100 Thieves Company. During a recent stream though, she said, I've been thinking about it a lot. There's definitely going to be a time in my life where I pivot out of social media especially. I don't want to live this way for the rest of my life. I don't know when, but it's been on my mind. The main reason though for her truly pondering it now is a result of the repeated online hate that she faces every time that she just opens her social media. She goes on to explain this further saying, I actually really, really hate social media. It's scary. I hate it. All the trolls and hate and creepiness. I just don't think this fame is really that fulfilling. It's incredible incredibly invasive. It has been on my mind a lot. Adding what makes me happy is being safe. This life is so exposing and people, especially on social media, are always looking for the worst in you. They want to find something bad about you and actually use it against you. It's just scary, really scary. Recently, Valkyrie was tossed into an odd spot that resulted in her getting more hate than usual. She was accused by Addison Ray followers, oddly enough, for removing Minecraft personality Tommy Init from the popular Dream SMP server. Speaking on that, she said, this whole TikTok thing, I don't even know how I got involved in that. It all feels so unnecessary, but it just keeps happening and happening. As for when she will officially quit, that is yet to be announced, but the YouTube star did make it known that she already has a few investments and business plans going so that she can easily pivot when the time does come. With that though, let's send it over to Jared for some science. I get it. Thanks, Johnny. What's happening, guys? It's your boy, the spiciest host in the game, Mr. Broology himself. And y'all know what we're about to talk about right now. You can say it with me. It's okay. Science, baby. Let's Let's go. Mars, oxygen, Elon Musk. Boom, we got ourselves a party. Elon actually has nothing to do with this story, but I'm sure he's popping bottles somewhere celebrating. Now, if you've been following along, you likely know about NASA's Perseverance rover, which has been roaming Mars the last little bit. Our metal friend has an experimental device attached called the MOXIE, which stands for Mars Oxygen In Situ Resource Utilization Experiment. So now, you know how we call it MOXIE. Science! That's why, baby. More importantly though, this tool was built to split carbon dioxide molecules into their component parts, which created approximately 10 minutes worth of breathable oxygen. Talk about a breath of fresh air. Who needs dentine ice on Mars when you have moxie? You get it? Cause it's gum, makes your breath smell good. The experiment also revealed that it was able to create a small amount of oxygen for rocket fuel, yet another win in the scientific community. People in the scientific community are just like, woo woo, hey, science baby. And I'm over here like, science, let's go baby. But it seems the purpose of all this isn't so much to live on Mars as it is just to create enough fuel to travel to and from for scientific purposes, of course. So I don't wanna keep yelling, it's starting to hurt my throat. I'll do it one more time, science. Principal investigator Michael Hecht of MIT explained, I quote, when we burn anything, gas in the car or a log in the fireplace, most of what we're burning is oxygen. On Earth, we take all that oxygen for granted. It's free here. We don't think about it. Now, before we get too jacked up, this is just a prototype, and unfortunately, there still needs to be a lot more research and testing done before we send any astronauts to Mars. But the hope is this experiment will allow astronomers and such to create a more powerful version, which could continuously create oxygen months before the astronauts would arrive in order to allow them to have fuel to return home. If successful, the hope is that at some point, a permanent space station could be located on Mars, with Hecht saying, I quote, that's not something I expect to see in my lifetime, but something I expect to see progress towards in my lifetime. Moxie brings it closer by a decade. Science! Why did I say progress? I say progress. Why did I say progress? I guess either way. Back to Johnny. Thanks for those updates, Jared. Now let's move on to some feel-good news, shall we? Our Heroes of the Week for the feel-good news section is a group of students from Detroit Lakes Middle School. Middle school teacher from the school posted a video of her students at recess that will definitely restore your faith in humanity. On the caption for the video, she writes, Sometimes people think I'm crazy for teaching middle school, and then sometimes this happens at recess. To give you some background, the boy in the wheelchair's name is Kale, and he has cerebral palsy, but has not let that stop him from dreaming about becoming a football player. And actually quite literally dreaming about it. 
he said that he told his friends that he had dreamt about playing football, and upon telling some of his friends about it, they decided to reenact that dream during recess. It's a fun moment of inclusivity during times where people can feel so divided on many subjects, and so we'd like to tip our hat to these students from Detroit Lakes Middle School for going above and beyond. With that, let's send it over to the Spill Zone with Mackenzie for an update on this Shane Dawson mystery box controversy. Thanks, Johnny. So today on the Spill Zone, we got some Shane Dawson news. Shane Dawson is coming out with a mystery box, even though he hasn't posted any content to the internet in close to a year. Of course, that's due to his massive cancellation last year, where he was essentially ostracized from the internet. But funny enough, even though he hasn't been active online, he has come online a few times to promote merch drops that he has basically every few months. This time, it's actually not a typical merch drop, but a mystery box where customers won't be able to see what they're getting until it arrives. The merch is being sold through Jeffree Star's merch store, so clearly they're still on good terms. There are two sizes of this mystery box currently on the site, medium for $64 and large $400. Shane promoted it on his Instagram story, where he said, quote, no pressure at all, just wanted to let you know in case you like mystery boxes. And honestly, this might be a me thing, but the fact that he always says no pressure in his promos is honestly just starting to like irk me a little bit. It feels very slimy and like manipulative to me. But anyway, moving on. There are of course a lot of mixed reactions to this news. Many people think the frequent merch drops have been a way for Shane's team to test the waters of his fan base to know when to come back online. And I personally think that this is 100% true. I think he has a whole docu-series basically ready to go and is waiting for the perfect time to come back and drop it. But that's just my theory. But some others were also roasting the decision to make the mystery boxes, as that's usually something that you do when you need to get rid of a lot of product really quickly because it's not. So but that's pretty much all for the story. Let me know if you're ready for a Shane Dawson comeback anytime soon. I have a feeling that he might be dropping whatever series that he's working on the exact day of his cancellation last year because it's kind of coming up. But again, that's just another theory from me. But I feel like he's definitely working on something. Now back over to Johnny for the comments. Thanks so much for those updates, Mackenzie. Well, folks, that has been today's show. But before we get out of here, let's check out some of your comments from our last weekly roundup. Nicole Herrera says, I subscribed for Charlotte, but I stayed for Jared, Johnny, and Mackenzie and can say Mackenzie is flourishing. I am so proud of how far she's come. Well, we're so proud of Mackenzie as well, and Jared as well, and I guess I'm proud of myself too. No, nonetheless, we appreciate your kind words and comments like that definitely make us want to keep going, you know? You know, it's nice. It's nice once in a while. Amanda Marshall says, Oh my goodness, literally that family received gifts from a complete stranger. There are still good people in this world. It makes me want to do something nice for someone contagious. Oh yeah, random acts of kindness can be very contagious, and it also makes you, you know, it's an expression of gratefulness of the things that you also have when you're able to give to people. It's a good feeling to give to other people. Louisa says, love the Santa story, so nice to hear a positive story. It definitely is, and I love that we get to do a feel-good news section, so I'm gonna keep those coming to you as much as we can. Angel says, thank you, Johnny, for slowing down. I think it might be the fact that I'm sitting, maybe? But the arm, the arm is still gone. It never stops. Elaine Hinton says, Gabby, an influencer, Karen. That is all. <laughs> maybe we do a, a top 10 influencers who didn't know were Karens. But for now, that has been today's show. Big thanks to Jared Bronstein and Mackenzie Smith and our editing guy, Danielle, for all of our hard work. I've been your host, Johnny Rogers, and until next time, stay classy, you two. Don't forget the bloopers. It's the weekly roundup. Let's go. All right, it's roundup time. We got a new jingle. Uh... But that's pretty much all for the story. Let me know if you're ready for a Shane Dawson comeback. Oh my God. There's that bark I was waiting for. Which stands for Mars Oxygen in Steel Resource Utilite Mother In situ, okay. I just committed to it and I just, mm. and There's a channel link there if you want to use that for any overlay stuff. Jer, are you with us? With that though, let's send it over to the Spill Zone with Mackenzie for an update on this Shane Dawson mystery box company. Controversy. <laughs> well, let me do that again. Ah.